Hi guys, my name is Matthew David Serapiero Carnavale Da Vinci Motel Nume. I am the descendant of Leonardo Serapiero Da Vinci. In 2006, I actually found out in one of the books during an investigation as a writer in Beacon College uh, that was pretty much about him and, you know, his personal life, his family and one of his half-sisters who married a Carnavale. That means that I am just in a general descendant. It doesn't mean that I'm a prime descendant. It doesn't that necessarily mean I am an actual related blood descendant of Leonardo da Vinci. It just means that I am half-descendant. But that being said, I am a lot like him, though. <laughs> well, I'll leave that part out. More about me. Not only am I going to tell you that I am a pagan, because in history, pagans and the Hebrews were actually the first tribes that actually walked the earth after that, yeah, dinosaurs lived, okay? I get it. Um. But pagans weren't bad people. They're, they're, they never were. I know, according to like you know the Christian Church, the Catholic Church, they all mention something bad about them. As a matter of fact, there never was anything bad about them. There is no, nothing ever negative about the culture of pagans, and that's what I'm here to tell you today. Pagans, they are in earth-centered or earth-dwellers. They thrive on, you know, the natural surroundings. <laughs> and, um... As far as more than just being pagan, I'm also an environmental activist and a human rights activist, an ethicist. Um, an ethicist means, you know, someone who studies ethics, who loves ethics. And also, um, also, a human rights activist, um, gay, lesbian rights activist, because I know I have, uh, relatives in my family who are, and they don't deserve to be treated any differently. This is why I'm always against religion, because... Religion does control people, actually, because they make them want to believe in what they think is right for them to believe in. What does that make you? Does it make it right for you to judge others? I don't think so. Because someone's gay? What for? Because you see, it reads in the Bible that gays go to hell? What kind of bullshit is that? I know you're going to hate me for this, but crying out loud, I've learned a lot from the film I saw last night that was Mandela. And you know what he's quoted at the end? He said, some people are not born to hate. They have learned to hate in their life. Me, I'm not a hater. So I know the difference between right and wrong. A lot of people do have a hard time these days about when it comes to that. Part of the reason why sometimes some relationships don't last long and others do. Why, you know, drugs are bad. And so is drinking too much. What I'm really trying to tell you today, to everyone out there, It's not learn how to hate, especially what your religion tells you. You have to learn how to do better with one and the other. This is why I know I probably told this to some of my uh, in-laws that religion is always a bad idea. They're always going to teach you hate no matter what. They're always going to brainwash you. They're always going to control you. 
always going to tell you something else to completely different that's completely false, completely, you know, um, not, not down to earth, not really, you know, not really factual. Okay? Everything's all made up. You have to understand that. Not everything you see in the Bible is true or accurate or... Oh yeah, that's the real thing about Jesus. No, it's not. I learned something from a great man. His name was Kenneth Sweet. He was my teacher. Okay? In college. You know, he taught, he taught Western civilization. He was a great man. When you learn something in an educated setting, different from a church, there's a big gap you start to see. You start to see where, you know, one thing's more factual, one thing has, has more historical context than the other. And that's the way it is. You, know, you, you gotta look at these things. What has more of a historical context or more of a scientific context. Question things. See, this is when it comes to ethics, you have to start looking at things more clearly. You have to start, you know, um, saying, okay, why is these things happen? What's the point of this? What can we do as humans to prevent things from happening? Well, sometimes we learn to do for the greater good, for the greatest number of people. And you know what? That's what it's like. It is. We have to learn that. We have to learn that what, what we do to others, uh, they must do to us. And I know there's probably a lot of YouTubers these days. I mean, I've been off the grid for a long time. I'd say three years. And now I'm back. I'm here to tell you. Don't pollute. If you're a cigarette smoker, think twice about what you're doing. Okay, look at where your money's going. Alright? Pay attention to the news, the correct news, not Fox Noise, because they're not a real news station. They do nothing but antagonize. They throw prejudices at people. And also... They just don't know the difference between them. They don't know how to look at the reality of things. They discriminate. It's the number one thing that they will never admit to you. Because if you ever get a chance to look at the differences between, you know, what people throw at you out there, you have to take a look around and ask yourself, is did that what really happened? Is that what my presence really saying? No. Nah. It's not. You know it's not. That's why you know, we had to pay attention to better news sources. And this NBC is one of the greatest news sources out there now. It's actually leading on top of the list more than anything. Duck Dynasty, really? What, what the fuck is that? Come on, people. There are all these other shows out there that just throw at you just to distract you away from the real world. And advertisements. Say, oh yeah, it's okay, it's my, hey, here's an electronic on a cigarette. It doesn't matter. There's no such thing as, you know, a safer cigarette, no matter which one it is or which way you look at it. It never is. I know you're going to hate me for it. I know you're going to post up like hate comments on my YouTube account, but guess what? You need to really... There, there's an article I wrote. Maybe one day I'll share it with you. But... You should never take things just because somebody else says that it's good for you. It's not. You have an entire world to look at. You do. Religion? Come on, really? 
You're gonna hate me when I say this too, but they've been steering a lot of people wrong for the past good number of years after the Enlightenment period. You heard of the Enlightenment period, right? I know I did. But we're past that. That was back in the 1700s, 1800s. That was before the Industrial Revolution. Even after the Industrial Revolution, that's where we start to have a higher pollution rate. That's why our greenhouse gases are so high. And people shut you, shun you away from these things. They put you in the dark. That's why, you know, they have all these churches. They want you, like, you know, put things in your head that just are not really meant to be there. I know it's not easy trying to fit in with the real world, but you know what? Try the best you can. It's okay. I know it's difficult to understand government these days, too. Not difficult for me anymore because I started to do a lot of research as a writer. Especially for, you know, a good number of my projects I do. I suggest we all do more research as human beings to understand, you know, how we can better our system and our way of life. I'm not saying we have to be perfect. I'm not telling you what to do. It's all about how we pursue to keep, you know, thinking differently from one or the other. We can actually think a little bit better. I know we can. You and me, we can.